obviously the injuries are the part of the game um, and uh, we have to face with it as a professional player and the most uh, you know crucial part of the injuries is just being away from uh, team activities and being away from uh, you know the games and traveling and all that uh, you know you can overcome injuries sometimes but you cannot really take time back to to hang out or play the games with your friends or teammates it's uh, it's really frustrating not to be able to uh, help your teammates on the court Hey guys, this is Doj Balbay of Anadolu Efes. Welcome to my The Day of the Life. Uh, the, actually, the first couple months uh, are the hardest because um, after the surgery, I had a hip surgery, so uh, especially the first five weeks, I was having a hard time to walk uh, with crutches and I was having a hard time to sit down and get up because uh, you know I had to be really careful with my stitches uh, on my hip uh, so my daily life routine has changed a lot and I have two kids so uh, not being able to play with them you know when they want to run around and play with me and the uh, first couple months were the hardest and then uh, as I got off to crutches and uh, walk more freely uh, I had, you know, uh, fun with my kids, and I could my I could do my daily basis stuff uh, freely. So first couple months were hard. Okay. Actually, uh, the knee surgeries that I had last year was just a clean up, uh, like meniscus. Uh, so it was actually much easier, and uh, return process was, uh, you know, shorter than the hip surgery. Uh, usually, yeah. I did a lot of research on the hip surgeries as well. Uh, one of the uh, better example of uh, Andy Murray, the tennis player, uh, who had a uh, hip surgery just like I did, and uh, but he ended up getting a hip replacement because his his hip was uh, much worse than I uh, what I had. And uh, usually, active players doesn't have this kind of hip surgeries too much. So I don't have many examples in front of me before going into this injury. So this was tougher than any other knee surgeries or ankle or, you know, we don't hear so much about uh, professional athletes getting hip surgeries. Usually retired players or, uh, uh, you know, people who are in 50s, 45, uh, who are retired from basketball or any sports having these kind of hip surgeries. Uh, but mine was a little bit earlier than that. Okay, so uh, we are in the locker room now. I'm here to do my rehab and uh, a little bit of running and then weightlifting. You guys are gonna be with me. I usually have my headphones when I'm running because running is kind of boring. So I gotta have my headphones and the music on to get me going. Yeah, Ozone is here as well. How do you feel today? Great. Good, getting better every day, huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Thanks. cool. All right, let's go. Actually, it's very important because, as, as we say, this is a re not like a rehab after uh, an operation, because the medical staff, doctors and physios, and they work all together for the rehab after, immediately after injury. But what, what, what we do here actually is my, you know, the position. So we're trying to, you know, to make the players back to the court. That means after rehab. So maybe 20-25% of the rehab. So we take them. So we see also the court integration. That means our job is right before the playing, let's say. So it's very important because we see that how the players move and how the players, you know, to get better. Um, and then we test them so that they can play. They can jump, they can change the direction, they can make a defense and everything in high intensity. And then we say, okay, let's see if he can play or not. So it's very important. We have to do something before before he, he, he plays, you know, before they play in, on the court. So. Yeah, the yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm doing 
my mobilization stuff, core activation and mobilization for my hip before I start doing my strength workout. So as I said, this injury takes about four to six months. So I'm right into the fourth month now. So basically I have two more months. Uh, but the rehab is going extremely well, uh, better than we expected. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to return for this season. But the goal is to come back, obviously, maybe for the playoffs of uh, Turkish League. Uh, if not, uh, hopefully I'll be ready to go next season. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.